Okay, so what we have here is a Makita battery holder and pretty much a PCB from AliExpress for the Makita XGT series, so the 40 volts. We have a microwave here, it only runs off of 40 volt batteries and a bunch of resistors. So pretty much since I only have 20 volt batteries like this one or that one over there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace each of these batteries with a resistor then I'm gonna wire this up externally to have some voltage going to it and then this AliExpress PCB should do all the communication to run that stuff off of any sort of uh, other Makita battery so let's solder these resistors, try it, and then finish up the project. Okay, so these are the resistors in place. These are the battery holders. And I've already tested this with the microwave, so this works. Now the goal is we add some aluminium plate to back it, with maybe some uh, styrofoam or packing material to uh, just keep the distance. And we should have a Makita 40 volt to two 20 volt batteries uh, adapter. So we've got here a XGT microwave. As you can see, it only takes the old uh, 40 volts uh, things. So this is half of a Chinese uh, Makita battery case with the PCB in here each battery replaced with the resistor piggybacked onto that to 18 volt batteries so you get a resistive divider here to make sure everything gets the right voltage so we just kind of gently shove it in there put some water in the microwave As you can see, we're cooking, so... Makita microwave running off of 20 volt batteries. Pretty nice, eh? What we also have is a 24 volt to 36 volt converter with the same half a Chinese Makita case with all the batteries replaced by 500 ohm resistors. And this makes a microwave run off of 24 volts DC. So it's also nice to have. Run it off of your truck or whatever. <laughs> 